Diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging are words often heard in workforce development, recruitment, and succession planning. But what do these words mean? Sometimes they can be challenging topics. However, with a little understanding, useful tools, and resources, you can help your organization become more diverse, more equitable, and more inclusive to foster an environment of belonging. Diversity encompasses many different topics and identities. Your community is made up of people with various abilities and a wide range of ages, ethnicities, genders, incomes, races, and more. Definitions for diversity, equity, and inclusion are not absolutes. While formal definitions exist, those definitions are meant to be the basis for which defining DEI occurs in your organization. In short, Diversity is ensuring that people on your team represent a variety of backgrounds and experiences. Having people with different races, genders, abilities, ages, etc. brings unique perspectives that can help to ensure that all voices within your workforce and community are being heard. While definitions exist for equity, it's not an absolute concept. Equity is achieved by evaluating the needs of the individual or group and how resources can be applied to assist that individual or group with achieving the desired results, whether they are personal goals, individual career goals, and broader organizational goals. Inclusion doesn't just happen because you hire someone who identifies in a manner in which you do not identify. Inclusion is the intentional act of ensuring that not only you hire and promote a diverse group of individuals, but that you provide the resources necessary for individuals to thrive, be successful, and meet organizational goals. Fostering an inclusive workplace leads to a sense of belonging that only strengthens your workforce. As individuals, we have certain traits for which we associate with certain groups. Race is often how we are perceived and is often binary between people who are perceived as white and people who are perceived to be people of color. Additionally, subsets of races and ethnicities can further identify us as part of a group. These stratifications can occur in various groups such as class, socioeconomic status, gender, ability, education level, and other group identities. Equality and equity are often used interchangeably. However, they are different approaches to achieving balance. Equality is everyone having the same resources and the same access to opportunities. In this image, we see that each person has the same bicycle. Everyone received the same tool, but each person experiences a challenge to effectively using that tool. Equality, on the other hand, is ensuring that everyone has accommodations along with the same resources and the same access to opportunities. In this image, everyone has a bicycle. However, they are adjusted to meet the needs of each individual. So whether they are riding to work or on a trail, each person can ride the bicycle within their abilities. In tandem with equity, inclusion is making space for a diverse group of individuals to thrive, intentionally and actively adjusting to ensure that people of all backgrounds, identities, and abilities are able to function at their best is important for them, you, and your organization as a whole. When people have the tools that allow them to thrive and be successful, they, and subsequently the organization, can prosper. In our previous example with the bicycles, simply providing the tools is the first step to creating a cohesive space. But providing specific types of tools for individuals, based on their needs, creates an inclusive space in which each rider or employee has the tools best suited to their abilities and skills for which to traverse this journey. This provides a welcoming space in which all people feel that they belong and can achieve success with the tools that suit individual needs. In the case of the water industry, water workers tend to be a homogenous group, lacking in diverse genders, age, and background. Understanding the lack of diversity in the water sector is key to developing plans and practices to recruit and retain diverse talent. Many water workers, especially women and people of color, serve in helper and labor roles, such as clerical, maintenance, 
construction, and other labor rules. Part of developing an efficient, sustainable, and diverse workforce is to provide resources to those in helper roles to develop their skills, to support career goals, and enhance the utility and the community for which it serves. Although sometimes challenging concepts, diversity, equity, and inclusion are imperative for developing and sustaining efficient and effective workforces. Remember that diversity can mean a variety of backgrounds, ages, and abilities. Understanding the differences between equity and equality provides the ability to provide for everyone in a way in which they can be successful. Ensuring that staff have the tools to help reach individual and organizational goals results in a prosperous organization. And providing space for all thoughts and experiences and needs can foster an environment of belonging and can lead to creative and innovative problem solving, effective teamwork, and overall positive workplace experiences. Thank you for spending some time learning about the basics of diversity, equity, and inclusion. To learn more about the Work and Water Program through the Environmental Finance Center at Wichita State University, visit wichita.edu forward slash work and water. For questions or more information, please contact us at efc at wichita.edu. Thank you again and have a great day.